So today we're gonna be unboxing a Yihua thermostatic soldering station and hot air rework station. The model of this is 8786D. Obviously this was made in China and I got it off Amazon for about 70 bucks. So not a bad price point for a whole entire rework station. I have a camera that I'm trying to repair the HDMI port for and I didn't wanna to spend too much money on something that I don't know if I'm gonna use a lot. So I thought $70 was acceptable for me to try this out and see if it works for me. So after I open it, you see there's an instruction manual, an operation manual. And once I open it, you see all the materials right away. Here are three tips for the hot air iron. It comes with this thing. I have no idea what it is. It's almost like a plier or a grasper of some sort. This one comes with a desoldering iron pump, pretty useful in sucking up the solder. It also comes with 35 grams, 0.8 millimeters of lead-free solder wire. I think this is another tip for the hot air gun. It comes with this apparatus that holds your soldering iron. And here's the unit, this entire unit. It's not that big, actually. I have a tape measure here. It's about six inches deep, five and a half inches tall, and about four inches thickness. Very small profile. Here's the hot iron gun with this attachment that connects to the box comes with a bunch of soldering iron tips. And then here's a soldering iron. And that's it for the box. The box is empty now. So this box comes with an attached power cable. On the back is the on and off switch. I'm gonna take one of these tips off and put it on the Oh, it attaches pretty easily. The package also comes with a bunch of screws so that you can tighten it. On the other side is a small nut. You can use it to tighten up the attachment. A small screwdriver to tighten this up. Since this is square, it makes it easy and it gets caught here so you can tighten it up without having to use a wrench. And it's pretty loose though. Okay, that's on pretty tight now, as you can see. So down here, you're gonna see where you can plug in the soldering gun. There's a little notch right here telling me that's the top. So I'm gonna carefully place it in so I don't bend any pins. and then it screws in place. And actually that was really easy. I read some reviews online that some people did not like the mechanism that attached this to the box, but honestly it was really easy. For the soldering iron, same deal. There's a inverted notch here and that signifies the top. And then I'm gonna put it into the top here. And then I can also screw that in. I think it's just important that you get the notches right when you're screwing it in and you screw it in slowly and carefully and it's pretty easy. Okay, so I can put my soldering iron in the soldering iron holder as a perfect fit. And then I can put my hot air gun like that. And there you go. There's a power switch on the left side. I assume that's for the hot air gun and then a power switch on the right side for the soldering iron. The soldering iron comes with a plate with a sponge, so you can use that to clean your soldering iron. It's a pretty nice assembly. I, I really like the, the size and the look of this. Here's the knob where you control the volume of airflow. And this is where you properly control the temperature on the hot air gun. And here's the side where you control the temperature on the soldering iron. There's a hot and cool button here. I have no idea what that's for. We'll try it when we turn it on. So, so far so good. The build and the packaging is very nice. 
It came with a bunch of extras. Basically everything you need to get started to solder or work with PCB boards. Okay, I just plugged it in. I turned on the power on the back and now I wanna turn the power on the front. So when I tilted it down, it started blowing hot air. And then when I put it in its resting place, it's the temperature is going down. So I think that's a good safety feature that this has. It just turned off automatically. Once again, if I turn, hold it like this. Oh, so it's turning on. Then when I put it here, it turns off. So that is really cool. I really, I really like that. That makes it very intuitive and easy to use. All right, so right now I'm going to try to fix this PC board I have. As you can see, I already messed it up by putting flux and I thought I could like desolder it right here and that did not work. This is what I'm trying to get off, this HDMI port. So let's see if I can do that. I'm pretty new to hot air reworking, so please go easy on me on my technique. I was eventually able to remove the HDMI port from the board, but I think I could have done it a little bit more clean and gracefully. I do have a silicone pad now which I can work on, so that might help out. But in conclusion, I think this Yihua hot air rework station was definitely worth the $70 that I paid for it. The packaging and construction is solid, and I'm looking forward to working more with it in the future. I'll add a link to the product on Amazon in the description if you're interested in getting one. Hopefully this helped you out. Thanks for watching.